Hi everyone, welcome to our episode. This is organized by Spellers Academy and in today's episode, we're going to go into in-depth discussion by asking questions to one of our trainers. And her name is Hema Kangerson and she is based in Australia. So over here, you'll also see her LinkedIn profile as well as her experts profile on our platform that you can read more and get connected with her personally. So Hema is a vibrant change catalyst with optimistic energy and has the distinct honor of having worked across three continents in Asia, Europe, as well as Australia. She possesses the wit, knowledge and the acute experience to lead as an example for her clients. She is a chartered accountant who qualified in PwC Kuala Lumpur and was disappointed when her years of experience in top tier investment banks in London was not considered when she arrived in Australia in 2011. But despite all of that, she pushed through all obstacles transition into the world of technology as a senior business analyst and then coach and thrive, achieving the highest success in her career. As an accredited Agile Lean trainer, as well as Gallup Strengths expert, Hema aims to use her insights, her personal career experience of 20 years across continents, her wide-ranging skills, and the corporate network she has established over the years to ensure individuals from diverse communities are no longer underutilized and can craft the career of their dreams. Hema also works in conjunction with growth-minded people, focused organization, wanting to activate the potential of their leaders and teams, improving your culture and successfully implement sustainable change across the workplace. So we asked a couple of questions to Hema. Be sure to watch to the end of the video and sign up for her webinars on Spellers Academy. Okay, what are some of the reasons limiting people to achieve maximum potential in their life or career? Well, what I think limits a lot of people from achieving their maximum potential is they actually are not able to break through their limiting beliefs and also the you know, lack of opportunity and access because of the family that they're from to, you know, the lack of education, to the lack of opportunities or gender or a lot of other things. And what happens is they stay within that particular, you know, area and, and don't break through. And uh, yeah, they're, they're stuck in a rut. And due to that, they, they will never be able to fully appreciate their maximum potential. So what would be your advice to someone suffering from a burnout? For somebody who's suffering from a burnout, I think the first thing is to take stock and really reimagine that the, the new life that you want. Because obviously when you suffer burnout, you've gone through something that is tremendous and it's obviously affected you mentally, physically and everything else. So the first thing and most important thing is to actually take that time to reimagine and reflect what is the new life that you want. And look at like your average time in a day or a week and see, you know, where do you want to spend your time? More time with family? What's the time you want to spend with your community to work, to personal and self-development? I think it's so important to use that time effectively. And then from there, take step-by-step -step steps to move forward to achieve what you want in this reimagined future. So why is self-development is as important as professional development? Actually, I think they are, I, I personally think actually self-development is even more important than professional development. And the reason why I say that is because if you don't understand yourself, you won't be able to achieve all these things within the professional um, development sphere to the maximum level because you're not coming from your true core. So you have to start, or the best thing to do is actually start with self-development. I wish there was more self-development even in, the, you know, in our education system, uh, because once you start with self-development, understanding who you are, what your values are, why you're here, how can you show up, then everything else that's added in the professional development sphere is going to be you know, amplified and you are going to be able to show up and be that best unique you uh, each day and every day. I hope you have enjoyed uh, the in-depth discussion with an expert that we featured this week. Uh, more about the trainer in the description box below. At the same time as well, be sure to tune in to SpellersAcademy.com to access hundreds of live webinars and could globally connect to experts all over the world. All the best with your lifelong learning and till then, we'll see you at the next video.